Shout out to Aiden Turner, my birthday buddy. <laughs> Adding a little roux, which I wasn't expecting to do. That rhymed. Hey, it's Emily and welcome to a new reading vlog. So this week I've got some fun plans. Um, I'm only working three days because I've got loads of holiday to use up. And tomorrow I go to Bristol for work and I'm meeting a booktube bestie in the evening. Then I got a work event on Wednesday and I'll come home. Then I've got Thursday, Friday off and I think I've got a few plans for friends. We'll see, we'll see. And at the weekend, I'm going to see Sister Act with my grandma. My grandma loves musical theatre. And so I can't remember if it was for Christmas or for her birthday. We got her tickets for Sister Act and I'm going with her. So we're going to see that at the weekend. So I've got some fun, fun plans. Um, but let's talk about reading plans. So if you saw my last vlog, it was a long one, I apologise. You will know that I started The Four Swans. I am now about halfway through The Four Swans. Um, last I checked, I was on page 287 out of 581. So about halfway. I'm actually really enjoying it. And the audiobook, like I love having the audiobook on and it's so nice to be back in the world. And I was surprised at how much I remembered. So I read The Black Moon, I want to say like 18 months ago. So over a year since I read book five in the series, this is book six. And I'm surprised at like how well I remembered everything. Like I just picked it up and I was like, oh yeah, this is where we left off. Okay, I get it. But I'm having a good time reading it. And yeah, my other reading plans. Let me just get the book. So my, okay. Oh, I have a work meeting in 15 minutes and my laptop's reminding me. So my other reading plans this week, I am buddy reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue with Chloe and Claire. We're having a little buddy read and we've broken it down. I think it's over seven days. I think it's over a week. Yeah, seven days. About 80-ish pages a day, I think. It's another chunky one, so I mean I'm reading two, two chunky books at one time, but that's fine. I'm not sure how many pages this is, but the audio book was like 17 and a half hours long. Oh, so it's 541 so it feels like it should be longer but yeah two two chunky books that i'm reading at the minute um i haven't actually started this one today but i meant to i meant to get to page 70 something 78 but i haven't actually had a lunch break yet i was meant to have it and i haven't and now i've got a meeting so i'm gonna have a very very late lunch break today i'm hopefully gonna start the visible life of ali larue i do want to tab it so i've picked up some of my tabs i feel like might match the cover I've got the blue ones for the blue and then I wanted like an orangey one that matched the orange. Anyway, I might tab this book is what I'm saying um, and I'm looking forward to reading it. I feel like a lot of my booktube friends, Becca for sure, Rachel's read it recently and really enjoyed it. They've all loved it and I don't want to get on in the hype, you know, it's been ages since it came out and I've had this in hardback since it came out. I don't know why I haven't read it, but I can't wait to jump on into it. Um, but at the same time, like, I'm so, I'm weirdly loving The Four Swans. And I know that I'm going to be picking up the rest of the Poldark series sooner rather than later at the minute. Even though the rest of the series, like, can you see how they just, they're all, they're all chunky at this point. They're all like 600 pages. And I think the longest book on my TBR, my physical TBR, is Bella Poldark at the end, which is like 800 pages. So, but I am really, really enjoying it. And I love listening to the audiobook. That's pretty much it for my little, like, opening update. I will take you along for the ride this week. I'm looking forward to it for sure. And off to Bristol. I haven't been to Bristol since Chloe's Patreon meetup, which was last July, I wanna say. That was good fun. And it's nice to have some sort of familiarity with the city before going. And I had a look on the map and the hotel that I'm staying in is right, like in the area that we explored, <laughs> which is very handy. And like I said, I'm meeting Rebecca for dinner because Rebecca lives in the area. And I just said, look, should we just take this as an opportunity to meet up? So we're meeting up for dinner in Bristol. And yeah, I'm excited to meet her for the first time in person. But like I just said, I do have a work meeting in about 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna quickly have a drink, make myself maybe hot chocolate. No, it's too early in the day for hot chocolate, it's half one. So maybe a tea. Those are my two books that I'm gonna be reading at the start of this video. We'll see where this video, video, video ends up. Come along for the ride.
Welcome to my hotel room in Bristol. I had a bit of a palaver getting here. My train got cancelled, like my second check, my second train got cancelled. Um, and so there happened to be another one going to Bristol Parkway that I ran for and I changed there to go to Bristol Temple Meads. The rest of my team are still, I don't know, halfway between London and Bristol. I don't really know at this point, but I'm already checked in at the hotel. And because it's only half four, I'm going to go book shopping because I have no plans. Rebecca's meeting me around seven-ish, I think. So I'm going to go book shopping. I just searched and the, what do you call it, Forbidden Planet is closed currently because apparently there was a fire upstairs. So that's not good. But I'm just transferring everything into my little handbag and then I'm going to head off out. Um, had a little taxi ride across Bristol. Literally felt like the most pathetic taxi ride because it was like five minutes not even that like literally speedy ride but then i'm allowed to be lazy especially if work paying for it and i had a suitcase in terms of reading on the train i'm so close to finishing today's pages of addy larue i've got like 15 pages left of today's pages and then i listened to loads where's it gone here i listened to loads of the four swans earlier but i haven't moved the benchmark but really enjoying that. Um, and as you saw, I watched some Paul Dark earlier. So I'm gonna go change my, change? Put some film in my film camera, head on out, because this bookshop will close around 5.36. So if I nip out now, I might be able to get to the works. And even if I don't get to Film Planet, that's fine. But go and explore for a bit while my team struggled to get here. Oh, speaking of, perfect. Okay, they're nearly, well, they're not nearly here. They're about half an hour away, but um, right. That's my little update. I'll speak to you later. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you've never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, yeah. Hello again, I'm back from town. Let's just make this angle better so I don't have to crouch so much. I'm back from town. I did splurge. I did have book taken, so I barely paid for anything. But I did get three books. Um, I'll quickly do a very quick haul because my team have just messaged me saying, we're going for a drink in a minute, come along. So I'm like, okay. So the first one I got was in the works, Bloodstream. Um, I've been eyeing it up for a while, it's nice and floppy, and it's a fiver, and I had five pound in coins, so I thought, that's not real money, girl math, right? Like, if I spend five pound on this, out of cash, it's not leaving my account. Then I picked up the three Dahlias, I've been eyeing it up for a while, and I just thought, why not? <laughs> Sounds right up my alley. It's a cozy mystery, I think, but Meg with books raves about it a lot, so I thought, why not? And then Deity by Matt Wesolowski, which is, I think, the fifth book in a series that I've only had the first two books for. But I know I'm going to want the whole series, so I picked it up. Oh, this is like a podcast, um, like, crime mystery thing. I gave six stories, which is the first one, five stars. So I, I know I'm going to enjoy the rest of the series. That's my little haul. I think work are messaging me. Okay, so I'm going to head out in a minute, go down to the pub, I think. So yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Got a good of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so okay. Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me. I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. Oh, if you yeah. stick by my side, maybe we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I've never fell this way. I really hope that you Please ignore the mess on my bed. I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis at the minute. My bedroom door's open. One second. So this vlog has been 
not quite how I anticipated it to go. Going from a 41 minute one last week to probably a five minute one this week. It is Friday now. Um, yes, I didn't really vlog anything apart from those like very short clips of me. But as I was setting down to do some scrapbooking, um, I'm trying to catch up with 2023. I'm currently in September. So I've got, what, three, four months left to go. I'm gonna sit down and do some more now. Um, I haven't reread really much. Yesterday I was so exhausted, like I slept maybe nearly 10 hours through the night and then did some scrapbooking, went to Tesco's um, and then slept again. I slept throughout the afternoon um, and then last night again I slept for hours and hours so I am clearly shattered. <laughs> but hey ho, reading update. So in terms of the four swans, I was listening to this while scrapbooking around the house and so I am this far on page 501 <laughs> out of 581 so I'm getting there it's just chunky and yeah in terms of Addie LaRue I'm a bit behind on the buddy read I've only halfway through Wednesday's pages at the minute um I am slightly tab tabbing it um I'm on page 182 when by the end of today I should be on page 387 so but my goal is I'm going to prioritize this sit down scrapbook finish this and then this can be my sole purpose a uh, purpose focus and catch up i also do need to tidy my room sort out the laundry it's a mess but the reason the camera's up here is because i'm gonna continue scrapbooking and the video that you've probably maybe seen already is a scrapbook with me or like journal with me video so that will be out already i'm enjoying them both don't get me wrong um especially the force ones when i started reading Addie larue it really made me realise how much I was enjoying this because while I am enjoying this, I kept wanting to still pick up the Force Ones. So I think I am going to get through the rest of the uh, Paul Dark books sooner rather than later, I think. Um, but they are, like I said, chunky and it feels like I haven't finished a book in ages, which it hasn't. But I am just reading two like 500, 600 page books. So that's my little update, really. I'm now going to just scrapbook and then, yeah. So here we are. Um, I don't know how long what time it is I, i've lost track of time today completely but i can now remove this as i have just finished the four swans by winston graham um i was just listening to it while still scrapbooking um at the end of september now so that's progress now just three months to catch up with i really enjoyed this and i really like the swan reference at the end obviously the title is called the four swans to do with the four women in ross's life my heart I'm so in this world again and I like I keep saying I really want to pick up the next one in the series which is the angry tide um but that's another long one that is let's have a look even longer 612 pages the angry tide is but I'm definitely gonna give this at least four stars I just had such a fun time reading it and I'm just so in the world and I love how we literally get everyone's story like it's not just Ross but obviously he's the main focus um him and Demelza but it's also you just really get a feel for the community and you feel like you know how everyone's getting along but it's not like too much like it's not like we're jumping around all the time but it it, it still feels like we're just really connected with the whole like community the poor people the rich people of course you're really on ross's side and he is the main focus and it's everyone that's in his life so you know how they're affected but also i don't know <laughs> i just i'm not i'm loving it i just had such a fun time and i like now get all the um references on the cover like at first i was a bit like it, these covers are a bit boring but like i understand all the references now like with the boat um the like voting slips and the names on there but yeah, I am really enjoying this. And even though it's, you know, 1795 to 1797, you can still understand it. The language isn't like, obviously it's written in like, I think it was written in like 1950s maybe? When was this published? 1976. So obviously it's like written, like it's not old writing. The audiobook definitely helped with some of the like accents, I guess, because it's written in the book how it's pronounced and sometimes that confused me um, but like hearing it, the narrator just say it just sounded normal to me like I could understand it fine because there's a few characters in here that have very thick Cornish accents <laughs> yeah very happy to finally finish this yeah it feels like it's been a long time coming but I don't think I've even been reading it a week but like I just love this world and now I'm going to continue watching the series like I've gotten back into watching the tv show shout out to Aiden Turner my birthday buddy <laughs> have some fun people with the same birthday as me guess that can go on the shelf now um I'm gonna continue scrapbooking because I'm just on my last September page I'll update my journal my spreadsheets 
and then we'll see what I want to do next because I am going to do some baking in a bit. So I haven't baked in two weeks, so it's about time I did. And my mum sent me the brownie recipe, so yeah. Why you never said you felt that way? Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away. Welcome to my room back at my parents' house where I keep all my red books that aren't favourites. <laughs> As you may have just seen, I did just organise the ones I've brought back with me. I am at my parents, obviously, um, for the weekend because my grandma's down. We're going to the theatre tomorrow. But I brought with me all the books that I've read recently that need shelving um, and then just organised the ring though. Slotted them in. Chloe's just finished sprints. Um, I can't believe it's 10 o'clock. I was going to wash my hair, but maybe I'll have to do that in the morning now. I caught up and read today's pages of Adelaru, which I wasn't expecting to do. That rhymed. I thought I would catch up, but not read today's, if that makes sense. So I read like two and a half days worth of pages of this today. I'm enjoying it more now. I, don't, I, I feel like it hasn't needed to be this long. The fact that I'm on page 387 now, and it feels like now we're getting really into it. But tabbing it up still, still really enjoying it. Um, it's just, I think, slower than I was expecting it to be. It's definitely not a fast paced book <laughs> at all, but I am enjoying it. But I would say it's like 3.5 maybe at the minute. We'll see how the last, I don't know, 100 and something pages goes. It's 544, I think. No, that's including acknowledgements. 541 and 387. I think I've also just spoiled, my, spoiled myself looking at that final page. Why did I do that? I'm actually annoyed now because I think I just read the last part of that chapter without meaning to. Oh well. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. We don't know how we're going to get to that point. But that's fine. Oh well. I don't know how many pages then I've read about today. Probably about nearly 200. But yeah. And then I, because I finished Four Swans earlier today while doing scrapbooking and journaling. I have decided to pick up the last book on my official TBR for March, and that is Insurgent, obviously, by Veronica Roth, and with the help of Chloe Sprints um, and the you know, audiobook while I was sorting my shelves out. Um, I am on page 72, no, the one after that, 73. As you know, Rue, which I wasn't expecting to do, that rhymed. I was so tired, I can't stop yawning. But I'm on page 72, 73, sorry, already. And this one, I'll try not to spoil this one for myself, it's 525 pages, so another long one. Three long books in a row, but then after this it's just Oscar Wilde's poetry, which is obviously a lot shorter because poetry. But yeah, I'm going to go downstairs. I believe my family are watching Comic Relief. That's my little reading update. I haven't written anything since Wednesday. But yeah, I'm just so tired at the minute, but and I'm glad I came to my parents today because I was meant to come down tomorrow. But we're going to see a matinee performance at the theatre, the Sing Sister Act. And if I had driven down in the morning and then saw the matinee, I would have been asleep in the afternoon. Like, that's my little update, really. So I guess I should just leave you there. I'm going to go catch a bit of comic relief, probably, with my family. Just go down, socialise, because my grandma's here. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Trying to 
But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away So Saturday night, I'm going to do a very quick reading update because I'm in my granny pyjamas. So earlier today, I guess this is bookish, not quite reading update, but book update. Me and my mum went into town and one of the things she said she'd do over Christmas was buy me a book from the Book Den, which is like a second hand bookstore, like charity shop. And so we went in there today and she got me, I've never even heard of this, The Murder Rule by Dervla McTiernan never even heard of this but i just picked it up and it sounded interesting and it kind of has a couple mixed media elements like mostly just diary entries and emails but just like general text as well like prose is that the right word but it's quite a short one it's under 300 pages i, I think it follows a lawyer st a student lawyer who because like it says it in it they think i'm a young idealistic law student that i'm passionate about reforming a corrupt and brutal system they think i'm working hard to impress them they think i'm here to save an innocent man on death row they're wrong i'm going to bury him no one is innocent in this story it says so i don't know it just intrigued me and my mum bought it for me it's in really good condition for a couple quid i'm just intrigued that's that one anyway on to the actual reading update in terms of Addie larue I finished today's pages earlier while my brother was watching the football. So I got that this much left, which is just one day's worth of reading. But I think I'm gonna sit and finish it in bed tonight because I kinda want it finished, if that makes sense. I just want to get to the end of it. I am enjoying it, but like I feel like nothing's happened. And I feel like that's meant to be the vibe, but I wasn't expecting that to be the vibe. Like it's very like just them, you know? And I just wasn't expecting it. Normally that's fine. I happily pick up books that just follow people's lives. Like one of my favourite books ever, Beautiful Ruins nothing happens it just blows their lives like it's not plot driven per se and i didn't realize that this wasn't particularly i have a suspicion obviously you saw last night i actually think i spoiled myself the ending that's that um in terms of insurgent i don't know where i am actually I'm not gonna lie um because i was listening to the audiobook so i reckon I'm about 100 pages in to insurgent maybe maybe up to chapter nine um yeah, I'm still enjoying this. I don't think I'm enjoying it as much as the first one, but we're only 100 pages in into 500 and something, 525, so um, still got a long way to go. <laughs> but just going to keep the audiobook on when I'm doing things. Um, have some more things to do tomorrow, scrapbooking as well, because I want my scrapbook with me video to go up tomorrow. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm tired, but I'm going to sit in bed, try and read a bit more of Addy, then yeah, just head to bed, I think. So yeah, I've got my laptop over there to watch some booktube on. But aside from that, that's my plans. Oh, obviously I saw Sister Act today. That was really good. Loved it. I love Sister Act. It's one of my favourite musicals since I did it in school. It was my last one in sixth form after doing them all through like secondary and sixth form and I did a sound for it and it just meant that whole experience for me was so much better not being in the cast for my last one and I just I'm so attached to that musical now so I love it but I do want to now go see the London one when it comes in to London in summer because it's got like Beverly Knight in and the guy that plays Duke in Tracy Beaker like that's what sold it to me I was like Duke is playing Eddie I didn't realize he could sing like that like I think I'm gonna leave it there for now and I'll do a proper light update tomorrow wrap up this vlog probably i don't know maybe i'll tighten to monday because this is going up wednesday so i am just rambling now can i jump in bed and read some addy i literally just finished addy and i'll talk about it probably in a bit because i'm about to have a roast dinner with my family but i had to finish it really quickly and then do sprints with becca um i'm watching well i say doing sprints with them i'm watching becca sprints and oh i did enjoy it to be honest it got better towards the end i'll talk about it properly later but yeah hello so catch up like i said i finished adelaru i did enjoy it in the end it definitely picked up i think for me i gave it four stars um i didn't like fall in love with it i did have a good time especially in the last half but it did take ages for me to get into it like 
Out of the seven days of the body read, I would say I wasn't properly into it until like Friday. <laughs> so it did take a while and I think I was expecting it to be a higher paced. Obviously it's more like character driven as opposed to plot, um, which I wasn't expecting. And I think that's why initially I was a bit like, whoa, okay, let's like rejig my brain. <laughs> but I really liked the ending and I really do like the writing. I felt the same way about Gallant. I really do like Victoria Sw oh, v. E. Schwab's writing. So I definitely want to pick up more. I don't care for the Darker Shade of Magic, I'm not sure. I do own the first one. I don't know how soon I'll pick it up, but if she does release another book that's of a similar vein to this or Gallant, then yeah, I'll probably pick it up. I had fun tabbing it and there's definitely some quotes that I will be you know, popping in my quote log in my journal. I need to think of a song now to put in my playlist for my 2024 reads playlist. I know Chloe, who I was buddy reading it with, um, she gave it a 3.5. We were talking throughout and I think we were both a bit like, come on, when's this starting? <laughs> because it feels like it's just a book of like nothing at the minute. But um, I think I definitely, I don't know if you can tell, but like the tabs, can, can you see there's like more towards the end? I think I definitely enjoyed it and picked it up, whereas Chloe, I don't think, enjoyed it as much as me towards the end. Which is fine, each to their own. Um, and she said a few of her other friends that she follows on Goodreads didn't rate it, like, five stars. I didn't find it as emotional as I thought I would. Um, I did have a suspicion about the ending, like, because you saw earlier, I, like, spoiled myself and like for the very last bit. And I kind of then had a prediction of where it was going and... Part of it was right <laughs> which i'm so annoyed at because i probably wouldn't have well no i probably would have guessed it eventually but at that point i hadn't really thought of that as the ending if that makes sense i'm glad i can finally put the oh, dust jacket back on addy larue and then hopefully the tabs will match the cover so yeah that's that one on to insurgent here we go um i'm now up to page 211 so i've read oh well over 100 pages today um i think i was on page 70 ish last night um i can't remember when what i said when i updated you but i know thanks to becca's sprints today i participated in like a couple sprints and i did some scrapbooking it's helped me get to page 211 well actually i think i got to about 280 ish no 180 ish sorry um with the sprints and i've just been listening while like scheduling tonight's video and then I have laundry here that I need to put down so I'm going to put that all away tidy my room because I've just come back and like this is a a pot of brownies <laughs> that I've just got there I just need to do a bit of a tidy up of my room now that I've come back to my house um and then I'm gonna have some Richmond vegetarian sausages with mash tonight that's my dinner even though I had a roast dinner <laughs> for lunch with my family Ah, but I'm glad this is the only book that I'm currently reading now. I don't know what I'm going to pick up after. Well, obviously, well, the only one that's left on my TBR, I don't know if you can see, is Oscar Wilde's poetry. But I don't know if I want to just read that or have like another book on the go, like an audio book, because that's like a fully physical read. And I'm really enjoying listening to audio books at the minute. I do have The Switch by Beth O'Leary out on Box at the minute. I got that for another two weeks, so I could always pick that up. But I don't know because... I kind of want it to be on a sunny day. I don't know what the day, what weather's going to be like for the next few days. <laughs> and that sounds really stupid. I should stop thinking about what I'm going to read next and just focus on this. I'm nearly halfway. I'm on page, like I said, 211 out of 525. I'm not really halfway at all. So, <laughs> but with that, um, I'm going to put my laundry away, pop on the audiobook for this again, and carry on with my evening um i will definitely wrap up this vlog probably tomorrow but yeah i don't know if i will film any more tonight we'll see how the evening goes because i may have to pull out for a bit on that note <laughs> i'll catch up with you in a bit so it is gone nine o'clock or well, around nine o'clock i don't know okay cliffhanger much <laughs> um what so I reckon I wasn't too bothered by the first hundred or so pages by this book. It got better, 100% got better. The ending. Okay, okay. So I definitely want to pick up Allegiance very soon. However, Becca said it today while watching her sprints when I said that I was reading this. I want to say Chloe said it as well. Anyway, or maybe it was Rebecca, Rebecca. Anyway, I've definitely heard it from multiple people that they don't like Allegiance. And now I'm scared because I like this. 
I don't want to give it 4 or 4.5 because it took me so long to like really get into it. But then by the ending, I was just like, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So I'm thinking maybe 4.5. So that's two 500 plus pages books I finished today. I only started today on like page 70, 80 ish. So I read a lot of this today, like 400 and something pages, plus on top of Ali Larue. I am on fire, but like I couldn't not. I could, like, I couldn't put it down and I'll show you what I've been doing. So I have this Goblin Core colouring book that I got from the works, I think, for like a couple quid. I've just been sat doing this, fella, for the last, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, and then I did an another one as well. That's just what I've been sat doing. Oops. Oh dear. But like, because I really like colouring while reading. So I can put my bookmark back in my bookmark jug or mug even on my shelf. I don't know why I've got energy because I am tired, but I this, finishing this book gave me some sort of rejuvenation. Probably not even the right word or phrase. Yeah, I think I will be picking up Allegiant at the start of April, hopefully, because I want to read a couple other books before the end of March. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next, apart from Oscar Wilde's poetry, but I guess that can go boop, up on my shelf again. But yeah, I think that's going to be a 4.5 because I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than Adela Rue and that got a 4. I've had a very good reading month because I was having a look earlier, the lowest rating I've given this month is a 4 and the highest is a 4.5. So where are these bad books at? I want to like trash some books. I said I wasn't sure if I was going to update you tonight. I did because I finished the book. Um, I'm just rambling now. I think it's because I'm tired and I have read a lot today. I haven't even had dinner. Like that's how much I was I engrossed in the book. So I think I'm going to have a ready meal. It's one of those ready meal nights, I think, because it's so late. Time to update the journal and the spreadsheets again, and I'll catch up with you soon. I know you told your hey guys. <laughs> so I'm going to try and wrap up this vlog now because it is lunchtime on Monday and I don't know. I'm just going to wrap this up. <laughs> it's been a week since I started it, so like it's a suitable time to wrap this up uh probably isn't quite as long as the 41 minute one last month last month last week so in terms of my reading i did pick up oscar wilde complete poetry um when i picked this up as in like when i bought it and even when i initially picked it up yesterday every time i thought about reading it i'm like yes i'm gonna like highlight it annotate it be like like really delve into it but actually i'm just enjoying just reading it i wanted to be one of those girlies that like annotates poetry in the end <laughs> i've just sat down and read it i mean i say i'm on page 17 it's quite a short book anyway but like the rest of this is like appendix and notes and things so that's not what i'm going to be reading i've got that much to read i am really enjoying it and there are a couple of poems that i do really like the last one i read was lotus leaves um, I really like that one. From Spring Days to Winter, I really like that one. Rome Unvisited, there's a couple that I really do like um, so far. So I might just go, go through and just like underline the ones that are like my favourite as my way of like annotating, just so I can come back to the ones that I really do like without having to flick through too much, if that makes sense. So that's the plan with that one. So this is going to be like my main book. So if I sit down to read, like I'm going to sit down on my lunch break in a minute, I'm just going to read this. As an audiobook for when I'm pottering around, I have decided that I'm going to start The Switch, the Switch by Beth O'Leary. I just thought this book would channel spring a bit <laughs> because I really want spring to be here. And I kind of picture reading Beth O'Leary, like Giovanna Fletcher, Sophie Kinsella, those sort of authors in like spring, early summertime. I don't, this might not even be set in spring, I don't know. All I know about this book is that an old lady and a younger woman switch lives, that they switch where they live and kind of both start over, I think. Lena is too young to feel stuck. Eileen is too old to start over. It's time for a switch. After blowing a big presentation at work, Lena takes a two month sabbatical and escapes, whoops, to her grandmother Eileen's house for some overdue rest. Eileen is newly single and about to turn 80. She'd like a second chance at love, but her tiny Yorkshire village doesn't offer many eligible gentlemen. Her life swap seems the perfect solution. But with a rabble of unruly OAPs to contend with, as well as a distractingly handsome local school teacher, Lena learns that switching lives isn't straightforward. In London, Eileen is a huge hit with her new neighbours and with the online dating scene, but is her perfect match nearer to home than she first thought? So I haven't really heard much about the switch. I know a couple of people don't necessarily like the road trip or what's the other one? The no show that's had some very like 
hit and miss reviews but i don't know many people that have read the switch i'm really interested in books with like old people and music they're kind of like my <laughs> kind of i was gonna say trigger words not trigger um buzzwords for contemporaries so one of my favorite books ever is homeward bound and i don't know a single other person on this planet that's read homeward bound i absolutely adored it um and that's about an old man and like playing the piano i highly, highly recommend that one yeah i quite like old people featuring in books i'm gonna start this today probably i'm gonna do a bit more scrapbooking and some coloring did i show you i did show you my coloring last night but i've now not got an audiobook on and i quite like listening to an audiobook while i color so i'm gonna pop that on this is gonna be my lunchtime read these are my reading plans for this week i guess it's monday let's start it off well so i'm gonna leave you here thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it had a few fun things on this week so hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride yeah i have nothing else really to say please give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new around here because i really do appreciate each and every one of you and welcome to everyone that's new so i think with that i will say goodbye <laughs> Try to stay strong